Every once in a while, there comes a book that changes it. I don't say this often. I'm not just saying adding additional information. I'm saying complete paradigm shift. And it's completely changed all the things that I do as an adult in my professional life, my family life. And I really don't say that often about books, but this one really did. I just want to say that this video is not sponsored by anyone, and this is just my personal opinion on one of my all-time top five, probably my number one book that you should read um, if you grew up like I did, or even if you didn't, you should read it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So every now and again, there comes a book that completely shifts your paradigm, that lifts the blinders up, that completely changes how you think about things, and I, frankly makes you feel like you've been thinking about things the completely incorrect way. And I was given this book by a friend and it was kind of nonchalant, but we had been friends for a couple of years and I was starting to say some stuff and like, you know what, Nick, I think it's time for you to read this book. Um, and the book, and you probably have heard about it before, but I just really want to stress how important it is I think you read this book, but the book is called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's by Robert Kiyosaki. You've probably seen a ton of people or there might be a couple of reviews out there, but I think that everyone should read this book. I wanted to choose a different path in life that revolved around starting a business and I didn't grow up with a lot of money and I think you see a lot of people who maybe professional athletes or media artists or artists in general, there's a lot of people who grew up poor or without money and get a lot of money and make a lot of mistakes. Or people who win the lottery kind of do the same thing. Um, but I knew I wanted to start a business one day and I knew I wanted to do better in life than my parents did. And I just, up until I had gotten this book, probably about five or seven years ago, did not have a clear path forward. And um, this book actually changed my path in life. At the time I was working in a pretty steady job for the government, one of those jobs where you get a pension and I didn't know any better, I didn't know any different. And there's nothing against those jobs, but I was starting to explore some other jobs that are out there, and I was talking to this friend that let me borrow this book, and I was having a hard time getting started, and this book helped me start to build my own set of views based off of how the other side or a different side of life lives. Here's why I think you should read this book. There's a few lessons to learn in here. And the big thing that it taught me from this, that I learned from this book that it taught me was stop working hours for dollars. Whether you own your own business or you're an hourly employee, stop working hours for dollars. And what that means is you make $40 an hour, so you work eight hours a day, so you make 320 bucks during that day, you lose a bunch of taxes, etc., etc. That is how most people get paid and there's nothing wrong with it. But if you wanted something different, if you wanted to take a different path in life, you really have to break that cycle and start to, to help or make money work for you. Um, and this is a great example uh, of, what I'm, of what I'm talking about here. And I had a friend who inherited a ton of money and they started to spend it all and kind of in the, the short term, they started running pretty low on money. And, and you know, let's say that you had inherited a million dollars. If you could invest that or put that in something that, that returns 10% uh, on a million dollars, you're looking at $100,000 a year in income without working at all. Uh, even if you only gotten 5% uh, return on that money, you're looking at $50,000 a year without working. The money itself is doing the work, the value in that money is doing the work, and that was really an earth-shattering experience to kind of to think about. Like, what if I was in that position where I had inherited a million dollars and can generate returns based on the money just sitting somewhere as an investment? Uh, taking on risk uh, is, is a potential job. I mean, if you put your money that where it could be lost, um, you are rewarded for taking on that risk. And uh, I would say that I think most people could live a very, very normal life between 50 to $100,000 a year in income without ever going to a job. 
so that was one of the lessons that, that really started getting me thinking uh, the right way. It's it's kind of like um, <laughs> it's kind of like with well, I used to be uh, I used to help with a football team when I was a middle school teacher, and uh, the big problem we had is how do you teach kids who don't who have never really won who are struggling in life how do you teach them how to want to win? Um, so I think that kind of got me down my path. Like how do I think about making money? I think there's a lot of people who are very fearful of losing their job and not having an hourly paycheck or some type of salary. Um, and that's something else that this book helped me helped me really understand was there are lots of ways to go out and start to develop revenue and business opportunities to make the money to make to live your life the way that you want to. I think you see a lot of people too that are out there saying I'm gonna go live in Thailand or be in a van or start some business and, and those are all great opportunities. But I would really caution you to trying to take one of those on if you don't have the right mindset, if you don't understand what you're getting into. So one of the things that this book helped me get started was my journey down financial literacy to understand how money works. It really is fascinating when you dive down and as much as you don't want to pay attention to business radio or stuff that's going on, it's really important to start reading. And, and Robert, uh, I mean, Robert's got some other books in there, and I think that's a great baseline, some great places to start learning about um, how taxes work, how to manage a budget, really how to spend your money. Um, one of the things that, that's gonna stick with me that, that uh, on top of having your money work for you is the middle class, I'll call it the middle class death loop, where if, if let's say you make $100,000 a year and you buy a house, you buy a boat, you buy a car, all you're doing is buying what he calls liabilities and changing that and flipping that to where you can buy assets that generate additional money. Like you're never really gonna get ahead in life if you just keep buying liabilities or buying stuff that costs you money. I'm guilty of it. It's something that I'm really struggling uh, to break because I didn't have a lot growing up so I work and I wanna buy some stuff. Um, and that will come, but he, he has some great examples in this book about where he takes his money, he invests it, he replaces the money that he's going to spend, and then he also generates money um, to, to take out too. So he's not losing money, he's generating additional money. It may take him some time to get that money together, but then he is able to buy something that he wants. It's really expensive. I think in the book, if I remember correctly, it's a car that he buys. So he invests, he tells his broker to invest money. He gets the money for the car, he replaces the money he's gonna spend, he pays for the fees, and he gets the car that he wants. Most people would take a loan out, lose, lose more spending ability, the car would have to get re repaired repeatedly, etc. So you can kind of see one of these, it's, it's this middle class loop where we just buy things that cost additional money um, instead of investing. I mean, if you think about all the money that you had, if you, and it's not very practical, uh, but if you had invested all the money that you've ever earned, at some point you'd be able to retire, but we keep buying things like bigger houses and bigger boats, more expensive cars, and paying for more and more crap in our houses, and it's just holding us back. It's it's not allowing us uh, to, to get ahead. So uh, that, that really kind of resonated to how do you get to a point to where you can actually earn money, like significant money from your investments? And I think that's something, that's the, the second point that he made that completely blew me away. And, and not, it's not earth shattering, right? But to hear someone to explain it, to hear someone talk about it, um, really points out like, hey, I have been doing this all wrong. So the last point I wanna make in this book is that this book teaches you, or he makes the point in this rather, that you don't need to go to college. I don't want to say it that way. You don't need a bunch of college degrees to be successful in life. Um, my point that I'm making this, and I think he's making this book, is so many people spend so much time going to college, getting more and more degrees, and all that's doing in most cases is putting you further in debt. Um, my take on this or what I try and tell people or what I tell myself is unless whatever job that you want to do in life requires you to have that degree, then make sure that you're getting the biggest bang for your buck being the most efficient with your time and money when it comes to making, uh, having a job that helps you make money. Um, 
let me illustrate this in a point. I used to be a teacher and between ROTC and everything, the five years I was in college, I spent like $54,000 in student loans, really funding the first three years or so. Um, and what I did to really make $35,000 at the end when I became a teacher for the first time and really it was $32,000 the first, my first year that I taught, why would I spend 50 or $60,000 to make $30,000 at the end? Now, some people would say, well, it's gonna go up from there. And sure, if you had started at 50,000 and was working like a business type role where um, you'd get bonuses and in a few years, you'd end up making more money than when you, when you started, or more money than you have in student loans, then sure, that might be a great thing. Um, but I, that wasn't my case. I was never going to make $80,000 until it was 30 years down the road and I was just about ready to retire. The, the, really the point he's making in here is, um, and this is the, the namesake of the book, is Rich Dad and Poor Dad. His poor dad had a bunch of college degrees and worked a bunch of jobs that you needed degrees for and he really never had money. He never got, a, never got ahead, always fell behind always told himself, uh, we can't buy that, uh, we can't afford that. And his rich dad never went to college and continually made money um, and came up with different ways to make money and develop different revenue streams. And um, people came to him and, and, and waited uh, for, the, for his rich dad to, to make, I guess, to tell them what to do. And, and really when you think about it, uh, when you have the money, you're gonna make a lot of a lot of the decisions as well. Life isn't all about money. I'm talking about reaching the goals that you want to reach, um, and having the right mindset, and really setting the right expectations. And if you want to go to college, great, but don't feel like going to college is going to answer all of your problems. Just getting degrees is not gonna solve all your problems. Um, I see it too often. Like I said, with I have friends that keep going to school and getting more and more degrees, and they get further in debt, and yet. I mean, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. You could do that. Um, you could do that with um, being an HVAC person. You don't. You don't need to go to college to make that kind of money. So don't think that every job that you have, the amount of money you want to make for your job, is tied to the amount of degrees that you have. There are jobs that you need degrees for, and there are jobs that you can work your way up. Two without having a degree and don't don't let I guess don't let that um, dictate what you do but this is a great book it really changed my perspective I went over three big points that it, that it gave me and the biggest thing is is that you can be creative with how you live your life and pay for the things that you want to pay for and get the money that you want to get there are tons of people out there that are living out of vans traveling the world making money online and there are lots of get rich quick schemes too where people are preying on other people trying to, I guess, live the dream, where they don't have to work in an office, they make more money than they know what to do with, and they get to live their life the way they want to. And it's all possible. It just takes a lot of work and effort, and some people get lucky, some people don't. Um, but anything is possible if you're willing to stick with something long enough, and you can find a way to afford the things you want to afford and live the life that you want to live. And this is, I think, the first book that you should read, and I really recommend this for anyone getting ready to go to college um, to, to to read. This is a great grad gift, um, figure it out. I mean, and look, it's a struggle out there, but it's totally possible. There are a lot of parents who are mad at their kids because they say, I wanna be a YouTuber. Um, I wanna be a social media star. And look, adulting is not about, adult adulting is not about always getting a degree. It's really about, making money in a job that you like to do and doing the things you want to do in life. And if you think that you want to risk financial ruin or financial success by being a YouTube person, by all means go. Um, or a business person or door-to-door -door sales person. There are lots of people who make more money um, without a degree than people with a degree. And there are a lot of people who make less money with degrees and have more debt than they'll ever be able to pay off. And there are lots of people who go to college and have debt uh, and can't pay it off because they never graduated because they don't really have a great job. All I'm saying is there's lots of opportunity out there. Robert Kiyosaki in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, 
really highlights a lot of different paths that you should take and teaches you a better mindset than just getting a job, working hour for hour. And even if that's what you want to do, you can learn from that book or any of his other books about how to develop investments that you can make extra money for too. Thanks guys. I really appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.